I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 306, my review of The Time Traveler's Wife, episode 1.3, on HBO last night. And it was one powerful episode indeed, in which Henry and Claire both lied to each other on crucial, life-shaking matters. And of course, spoilers will follow. So let's see. Claire, as a tweener and a teenager, repeatedly asks Henry on his many visits if they will be married in later life, if he will be her husband. He repeatedly tells her no. And eventually, though, shouts out the truth when the guy who raped the teenage Claire demands to know why Henry is so upset about what happened to her. Now, ironically, though that's not quite the right word, Henry knows that the rapist burned Claire with cigarettes, but not that he raped her. And that's because Claire repeatedly told Henry that the guy had hurt, but not raped her. So what are we to make of these mutual lies? They are born of love, or at least good intentions. Henry thinks knowing too much of her future will damage Claire, and she thinks telling Henry the full extent of what happened to her might get Henry to really kill the rapist. But you might not agree. Some observer of human nature, maybe it was Albert Schweitzer, once remarked that lying, whatever the lie, is a, quote, treason of the soul, unquote, that always diminishes the liar. On the other hand, Cecilia Bach, in her excellent 1978 book, Lying, evaluates various kinds of lies and singles out white lies as sometimes justified and doing some good in this world. The Time Traveler's Wife, like all excellent fiction, deserves credit for addressing such complex moral issues. And this episode was especially well acted, not only by Rose Leslie as the 16-year-old and older Claire, but Caitlin Shorey as the tweener and Evelyn McDonald as the younger Claire. They all joined Theo James's Henry in a really effectively act drama that doesn't miss a single beat. And I'll see you back here next week with my review of the next episode of The Time Traveler's Wife. And I hope you enjoyed that review of The Time Traveler's Wife, episode 1.3. I will be back here next week with my review of episode 1.4. And you'll also soon hear a review of the new episode upcoming of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. And actually, in the next day or two, a review from me of the latest episode of The Man Who Fell to Earth. In addition to that, there'll be a two-hour interview in which Captain Phil interviews me about the horrendous shootings of children in Texas. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound, keep doing whatever you can to help those brave people in Ukraine fight the Russians. And while we're at it, do whatever you can to somehow begin to limit the number of semi-automatic weapons that 18-year-old kids can buy here in America. The Light on Light Through podcast
Athens, 2042 AD. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.